So we'll get started in a comfortable seated position. It doesn't matter how you're sitting, just as long as you're sitting nice and tall through your spine. Relaxing your shoulders down and away from your ears. Closing your eyes and starting to focus in on your breath. Not trying to change it, but just seeing how it feels in your body today. Just noticing the quality of your breath. Maybe starting to lengthen and deepen through your inhales. As you lengthen through your exhales. Trying to find a balance in your breath. Trying to make your inhales closer in length to your exhales. So we'll do a couple of square breaths to start our practice. If this count is too long or too short for you, feel free to count your own breath. But we'll start by fully exhaling, inhaling for three, two, one, holding for three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, exhale. Inhale, three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, hold, three, two, one, deep breath in, and letting it go, and slowly opening your eyes if they were closed, and from here, we'll bring our hands down towards our heart, from here, inhaling as we press the air out, gathering it up as we bring our fingertips to touch, Exhaling, thumbs go down towards your heart. We'll do this two more times. So you inhale out and up. Exhale, hands lower. One more time. Inhaling out and up. Exhaling, hands lower. And from here, we're going to place our hands out in front of us. And you can stay here. Your legs can be in crisscross. Um, we're bringing one shin more parallel in front of the other. And we'll start to walk our hands out. Just stopping wherever, remembering to breathe. We'll walk our hands over towards our left side. Come back through center and over towards your right. Just trying to keep your hips as grounded as you can wherever you are. We come back through center and lifting back up towards your seated position. And then whichever way your legs are crossed, switching it, we'll walk our hands back out. Maybe you feel a deep enough stretch just sitting like this. Whenever you're ready, walking those hands over towards your right side. And back through center and over towards your left. And come back through center, coming back towards your seated position. From here, we'll inhale our fingertips to touch again. 
And then exhaling, taking our left hand to the outside of our right knee, coming into a twist, gazing over that back shoulder. And just sit up nice and tall, dropping your shoulders away from your ears. Your next inhale, fingertips come to touch. And exhaling, switching sides, right hand goes towards the outside of that left knee. Inhaling, fingertips come back up above head. And exhaling as our hands come out, we'll roll forward onto our hands and knees, and then making your way into a wide-legged child's pose. Knees are spread about, mats at the part, big toes to touch, your palms down on the earth. Just taking a moment here. Let go of anything that doesn't serve you for your practice today. Maybe it's any judgment or expectations. Whenever you're ready, turning your palms up towards the sky and just being open to whatever this practice has to offer you. Maybe thinking of something you have to offer the universe in return. Maybe it's more patience or kindness. Whenever you're ready, turning your palms back down towards the earth. Maybe setting an intention for your practice today. Maybe it's to breathe before you move. Maybe it's just to stay present. Maybe choosing someone to dedicate your practice to. Taking a full deep breath with an open mouth exhale. And then we'll make our way up to all fours. Making sure that our wrists are underneath our shoulders, spreading your fingers nice and wide. Knees are underneath your hips. As you inhale, letting your belly drop as you gaze up towards the sky. And exhaling as you round in your spine, gaze goes down towards your knees or belly button. Just continuing to move the rounds of cat and cow, warming up your spine, flowing with your own breath. Exaggerating any movements, just remembering that this practice is yours, so taking any modifications that you'd like. We'll go through one more full round of cat-cow. We'll meet back through center with a neutral spine. And from there, we'll take our left toes back behind us, keeping that left hip even with the right, and then starting to press your heel towards the back of your mat, stretching through your calf. And on your next inhale, shifting that weight back over your wrist. Maybe left toes lift, flexing through that back foot. You can stay here or right bicep comes up to your ear, thumb towards the sky. And just taking a couple of deep breaths here. Engaging through your core. One more deep breath. And exhaling, hand and knee come down towards the earth. Taking a deep breath, maybe a cat-cow. Then whenever you're ready, taking your right foot back behind you, pressing through that heel. As you stretch through your calf. And on your next inhale, shifting that weight back over your wrist, flexing through that foot, maybe lifting your toes. Thinking about turning those toes in towards your midline. You can stay here or left bicep comes up towards your ear. We'll just take a couple of deep breaths here. Inhaling here as you exhale, hand and knee come back towards the earth. Maybe taking your cat cow. And then whenever you're ready, you're going to curl your toes under, pressing through your fingertips, through your knuckles, and lifting your knees to a two-inch hover. Thinking about pressing the earth away, your hands. And on your next exhale, pressing your hips up and back to your first down dog of class. 
You can stay here in center stillness. You're maybe starting to walk your dog, coming up to the toes of one foot as you press your opposite heel down. Thinking about melting your chest and towards your thighs. Remember, you can always keep a deep bend in your knees here. So I'm coming back through center stillness if you left. So you inhale, we're going to get high on our toes. Exhaling, heel sink. Inhale, lifting high. Exhale, sink. Two more times, inhaling, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhaling, lift. Exhale, lower. On your next inhale, left toes go to the sky, three-legged dog. And then starting to bend in that knee as you open your hip over towards your left side. Trying to keep the weight even in both your hands and through your upper back. And stay in center stillness. You're maybe starting to make some knee or some ankle circles. Going back through center if you left. Straightening through that leg. Gaze goes forward as you exhale. And stepping that left foot between your hands. You can wiggle those toes up if they didn't make it all the way. Making sure that your knee stays over your ankle. From here, we'll lower to our back knee. I'm curling your toes. And stay here on your fingertips. Making a basket over your knee. Or inhaling, fingertips look towards the sky. Thinking about pressing your hips forward. Inhaling here as you exhale, hands will go to either side of that front foot, curling your back toes under. And then we're going to take that right foot and bring it up to meet our left. So we'll step forward. From here, coming into a halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. We'll just take a moment here, maybe keeping a deep bend in those knees, maybe grabbing onto opposite elbows, maybe moving from side to side. Going back through center if you left. Inhaling here as you exhale, hands lower. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, lower. Inhaling, rising all the way up towards standing. Fingertips to touch, maybe gaze follows. And exhaling, hands to your heart as you fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. From here, stepping back into your high plank. You can stay here in center stillness, or maybe starting to take some circles around your wrist. You decided to take circles, switching directions. Coming back through center. As you exhale, either lowering all the way down towards the earth with chaturanga arms, or lowering your knees and lowering down knees, chest, chin. Here, uncurling your toes, pressing your big toes in towards the earth. Hands will stay underneath your shoulders as you inhale, low cobra. Elbows in, shoulders down. Exhaling, forehead touches. Inhaling, low cobra. Exhaling, forehead touches. One more time, inhaling, low cobra. Exhaling, forehead touches. And from here, engaging through your core as you make your way back into a child's pose. Just taking a deep breath here, remembering that you can come back here at any time. And whenever you're ready, making your way back into down dog, taking your time to get there. Once you've made it, inhaling those right toes to the sky, three-legged dog, knees starting to bend in that knee, opening through that hip, trying to keep weight even through both your hands. Maybe taking some knee or some ankle circles. Coming back through center if you left, inhaling, heel reaches towards the sky. Exhaling, gaze goes forward. And stepping that right foot between your hands. Lowering to that back knee, uncurling your toes. 
And maybe inhaling fingertips left or come up above that knee. And you out leaning forward through your hips. One more deep breath here. Exhaling, hands go to either side of that front foot, curling your back toes under, lifting your knee, and then we'll step that left foot forward to meet our right. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. Inhaling, rising all the way up towards standing, fingertips to touch, gaze follows. And exhaling, hands down towards your heart. From here, shutting down your eyes, focusing back in on your breath, maybe be revisiting that intention, the one you dedicated your practice to. Whenever you're ready, we're gonna heel toe step our feet so they're about mats width apart, toes slightly more out than our heels, and then we're gonna drop our hips down in the Malasana Yogi Squat. From here, trying to keep those elbows to the insides of your knees, Thinking about sitting up nice and tall, finding length through your spine, up through the crown of your head. Take a couple of deep breaths here. One more deep breath. From here, setting our hands on the earth as our hips lift. From there, stepping your feet back so they're underneath your hips. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. From here, rising all the way up towards standing, fingertips to touch. And hands back towards your heart as you fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. And then from here, stepping your left foot back behind you. This time, keeping that back knee lifted, and inhaling up into crescent. Awesome, from here, trying to make sure that front knee is over that front ankle, and trying to lift your back heel so it's over the ball of your foot. And an inhale here, and exhaling as we cactus our arms and bending that back knee to a hover. Inhaling, rise, straightening through both legs. Exhaling, hover. Inhaling, rise. Exhaling, hover. Two more times, inhaling, rise. Exhaling, hover. One more time as we rise. Exhaling, hover. Inhaling, rise. Exhaling, we'll just bend that front knee. Exhaling, hands go to either side of that front foot. From here, left hand stays down as you reach up to the sky with your right gaze follows. Thinking about staying open through your collarbones, energy through your fingertips. Inhaling, here's you exhale, taking that right hand to the inside of your right foot, spinning on that back left foot so it's parallel with the back edge of your mat, and bringing those left fingertips either towards the sky or bicep towards your ear. Our next inhale, we'll make our way up, or your two. Making sure that you can see that front big toe. If you can't think about pressing your knee towards the pinky side of your foot. Trying to align that front heel with the middle of your back arch. Energy through your hands, maybe gaze goes over that front middle finger. Your next inhale, reaching as far forward towards the front of the room as you can. So you exhale, palm lifts as you sweep it across, reversing your warrior. Maybe gaze follows that hand. Left hand can stay long on your leg or coming into a half bind. One more deep breath here. Next inhale, we'll make our way back towards warrior two. From here, starting to straighten through that front leg, maybe keeping a slight bend through your knee. Inhaling as you reach forward, exhaling as you hinge from your waist, making your way into trigonosmer triangle pose. 
If it feels okay, instead of using your palm on your shin, try thinking about pressing the back of your hand in towards the side of your leg. Think as if you're between two panes of glass. One more deep breath here. Your next inhale, starting to bend through that knee as you make your way back up, warrior two. From here, we're gonna turn our torso towards the front of the room and coming up to the ball of that back foot, coming back into crescent. Exhaling, hands lower, stepping back, high plank. From here, either flowing through your vinyasa, you can always modify or making your way straight back to down dog. Just remembering that that part's always optional. Once you made it to down dog, taking a nice deep breath. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> on your next inhale, getting high on your toes, bending deep through your knees, gaze lifts towards your hands, either stepping or floating to meet them. From here, we're gonna heel toe step those feet so they're about mat width apart, toe slightly out, and dropping your hips back into Malasana. Taking a couple of deep breaths here. One more. Your next inhale, hands drop, hips lift, walking those feet back in. Exhaling, fully fold. Inhaling, halfway lift, flat back. Exhaling, fold. Inhaling, rising all the way up towards standing fingertips to touch. And exhaling, hands to your heart. Taking a deep breath here. Reconnecting with your breath if you've lost it. Maybe reconnecting with your intention, the one you dedicated your practice to. Your next inhale, fingertips lift. Exhaling, hands to your heart as you fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. From here, stepping your right foot back behind you. This time we'll inhale up, crescent, keeping that back knee lifted. Awesome, inhaling here. Exhaling, we'll drop that back knee to a hover as we cactus our arms. Inhaling, lift, straightening through both legs. Exhaling, lower. Inhaling, lift. Exhaling, lower. Inhaling, lift. Two more times. Exhaling, lower. One more. Inhaling, lift. Exhaling, lower. Inhaling, rise. Exhaling, bending in that front knee. Deep breath. Exhaling, hands go to either side of your foot, keeping that right hand down as you reach up to the sky with your left. Inhaling here as you exhale, left hand goes towards the inside of your foot, reaching up to the sky with your right. From there, spinning on that back foot so it's parallel. Fingertips can stay straight towards the sky or hugging your bicep towards your ear. And on your next inhale, rising up, warrior two. Easing over that front middle finger, energy through those fingertips. On your next inhale, reaching as far towards the front of the room as you can. As you exhale, palm lifts, as you sweep it across, reversing your warrior. You can stay long on your leg or coming into the half bind. Your next inhale, making your way back up warrior two. From here, straightening through that front leg, reaching as far forward as you can. As you exhale, hinging from your waist, making your way into trichinosana or triangle pose. Mm -hmm. 
You're next. Inhale, starting to bend through that knee as you make your way back up, warrior two. And then from here, we're gonna spin so the sides of our feet are parallel with the edges of our mat. Hips are wider than hip distance apart. From here, we're gonna bring our hands to our heart. We're gonna come to the ball or the heel of our right foot, starting to bend through our left knee. So sending your weight over towards the left side. Toes can be straight or at a 45 degree angle. It's okay if that heel's lifting. Just flexing through those right toes. Your hands can always come down towards the earth to help support you. One more deep breath here. And on our next inhale, we'll gently make our way through center. Hands can stay at your heart and we'll switch sides. So leaning over towards that right side. Each side one more time. So two more deep breaths here. We'll come back through center towards our left. And back through center and towards our right. So from here, we'll bring that foot down. Hands will come down towards the earth. Toes will go straight. So our feet are parallel. We'll inhale with the flat back and exhaling, starting to fold, letting the crown of your head release down towards the earth. Your hands can stay underneath you or maybe walking them from one foot or to the other, or walking your hands between your legs, just listening to your body. Taking one more deep breath wherever you are. Making your way back through center. We'll inhale, halfway lift. And then from here, we're gonna drop to our knees coming into frog. If you're on a hard surface, um, it helps if you feel it in your knees to double up your mat on each side. But we're gonna bring our knees down towards the earth. And then you're gonna try to bring your ankles in line with your knees. So I'll turn to the side and you're gonna flex through our feet. So you can stay up here on your hands, or you can continue to lower down. And thinking about sending your hips maybe back. Just remembering to listen to your body. This is a pretty intense hip stretch. Three more deep breaths here. And coming back towards your hands if you left, shifting that weight forward and walking your knees back underneath you and making your way into a child's pose. Maybe knees are spread max distance apart. You can keep your hands out or sweeping them behind you, resting the tops of your hands on the arches of your feet. And just taking a couple of deep breaths here. On your next inhale, rising back up and making your way into your down dog. And taking a deep breath once you've made it there. On your next inhale, getting high on your toes. Bending deep through your knees, gaze lifts towards your hands. And this time we're gonna step or float so our hands are, or so our feet are on the outsides of our hands. So just hopping our way or stepping our way into Malasana, elbows come back towards the insides of our knees. And taking a couple of deep breaths here. And 
Your next inhale, hands lowered, hips lift, walking those feet back under. Here, inhaling halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. As you inhale, rising all the way up towards standing fingertips to touch. And exhaling, thumbs to your heart as you fold into the next one. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. From here, stepping that right foot back behind you. Inhaling, fingertips lift towards the sky, making your way into crescent. Inhaling here, and as you exhale, right fingertips will come to the front of the room as your left go back behind you, coming into a twist. Inhaling, fingertips rise. Exhaling, hands will come to the inside of that left foot, and then walking that left foot so it's towards the edge of your mat. Maybe toes are at a 45 degree angle. You can stay here, that back knee lifted, or maybe lowering towards the earth. Uncurling those toes. You can stay here. Or maybe lowering down towards your forearms. You can roll towards the outer edge of that front foot. Just thinking about sending your hips towards the back of your mat. Your next inhale, making your way back up towards your hands if you left. You're more than welcome to stay here or right hand plants and pressing that left knee away with your left hand, opening through your chest, starting to twist. You can stay here, picking up that back foot and maybe reaching for that foot, chin, or ankle. You have that foot slowly releasing it. Left hand will come back to the inside of that foot. From here, curling your back toes under, lifting that knee, stepping back high plank, and flowing through vinyasa, leading back at down dog whenever you're ready. Taking a deep breath here, open and mouth exhale. <sighs> On your next inhale, right toes lift to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhaling, gaze lifts. Do so step that foot between your hands. Inhaling up, crescent. And as you exhale, bringing those hands to the inside of that right foot, stepping that right foot towards the edge of your mat. Maybe toes are at the 45 degree angle. Lowering to your back knee, uncurling your toes. You can stay here or continuing the lower down forearms. You can stay here, coming back towards your hands, planting through your left hand, pressing that right knee away as your chest opens towards the right. You can stay there, picking up those left toes, maybe reaching back for them with your right hand. Slowly releasing that foot if you have it. Coming back towards the sole of that right foot. Right hand comes to the inside of your foot. Curling through those back toes, lifting your knee and stepping back plank. From here, flowing through your vinyasa and leading back to down dog whenever you're ready. Deep breath here, open mouth, exhale. And on your next inhale, getting high on your toes, bending deep through your knees. Gaze lifts and stepping or floating towards the top of your mat. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. And then from here, we're going to come to sitting on our toes. So our heels are lifted, our toes are curled underneath us, and thighs are parallel with the earth. You can keep your hands on the earth if you need it or if you have something stable nearby, like a couch. And then from here, we're going to try 
to extend that left leg, you can use your peace fingers around that big toe. And you're starting to press through that heel. It's okay if your leg is bent. And trying to find your balance. Definitely a little bit harder on carpet. Maybe you can lift that right hand. We're just playing here. Remembering it's okay to fall. One more deep breath. We'll bring that left foot in. We'll try to switch sides. So from here, left hand will stay down on the earth, maybe extending through that right leg, maybe peace fingers come around that big toe. Once again, you can stay there. Or maybe you're trying to lift those left fingertips, even if it's just for a second. Just finding your gazing point, your drishti, something that's not moving. One more deep breath, and coming back through center. Awesome, from here we'll plant through our hands, hips lift, inhaling halfway lift, exhaling fold, inhaling rising all the way up to standing, case follows, and exhaling thumbs to your heart. Taking a deep breath here, shutting down your eyes, Maybe revisiting your intention, the one you dedicated your practice to. Your next inhale, fingertips left. Exhaling, hands to your heart as you fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, fold. From here, stepping back high plank, you're floating into your chaturanga and flowing through your vinyasa, meeting back at down dog whenever you're ready. Taking a deep breath here. Open mouth, exhale. On your next inhale, left toes lift to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhaling, left knee, left elbow. Inhaling, toes to the sky. Exhaling, knee to nose. Inhaling, toes to the sky. Exhaling, knee goes across your body. Holding it here, bringing it back towards your left, back towards your right, back towards your left, back towards your right. Back towards your left, inhaling, toes to the sky. And exhaling, we'll make your way into half pigeon. So left knee comes behind your left wrist, ankle behind your right. Lowering to that back knee, uncurling your toes. So from here, the more parallel your shin is with the front edge of your mat, the more intense the stretch will be through your outer hip. So the closer your heel is to your body, it'll be a little bit less intense. So from here, we'll inhale up towards our fingertips, finding length through our spine. Exhaling either straight back towards your palms or continuing to lower all the way down towards the earth. Just remembering to breathe. Trying not to lean from one side to the other, so no funky pigeons. One more full deep breath through down towards your forearms. Making your way back towards your hands if you left. And then from here, we're gonna shift our weight all the way over towards our left side, sweeping that right leg around. We're gonna keep our left shin down on the bottom. So flexing through that foot, keeping our left shin nice and parallel. And then we're gonna try to stack our right leg on top. So flexing through that right foot, trying to get that heel or ankle on your knee. And maybe your knees will touch, maybe they won't. If this is too much, you can bring both of your legs down and just try to lean forward. If you can, stacking that ankle. If this is not a deep enough stretch for you, um, maybe starting to come into a forward fold. Inhaling as you find length through your spine and exhaling, maybe folding over your shins. Wherever you are, just remembering to breathe.
One more full deep breath here. If that ankle is over your knee, releasing it. And then from here, we're gonna make our way back towards our down dog. You can stay here or inhaling forward into high plank and taking a vinyasa, leaning back at down dog whenever you're ready. Taking a nice deep breath, open mouth, exhale. Your next inhale, right toes go to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhaling, right knee, right elbow. Inhaling, toes to the sky. Exhaling, knee to nose. Inhaling, toes to the sky. Exhaling, knee goes across your body, left elbow. Back towards your right, back towards your left, back towards your right, one more time. Left, right, toes to the sky. And exhaling, making your way into pigeon on your opposite side. So making sure that that left leg is going straight back from your hip. Inhaling high onto those fingertips, shoulders away from your ears. And exhaling, either lowering straight to your hands or continuing to lower down towards the earth. Keeping those hips nice and square down towards your mat. And remembering to breathe. Taking two more deep breaths here. Making your way back towards your hands if you left. And from here, shifting that way all the way over towards the right, swooping your left leg around, making sure that that right shin's parallel, flexing through both of your feet, and maybe setting that left ankle on top of your knee. Once again, you have the option to stay here, or if it's not a deep enough stretch, maybe coming into a forward fold. Two more deep breaths here. Rising back up if you decided to fold. One more breath. And releasing that ankle over your knee. So from here, we're gonna bring both of our knees out in front of us. From there, we'll take that right foot, bringing it through our triangle and hugging it in close towards our left sit bone. From there, we're gonna try to stack our knees. So taking that right foot over towards our left side, bringing your knees on top of each other. We'll make our way into going across in our cow face pose. It's okay if your foot's here and your knees still up towards the sky, but if it feels okay, coming towards the edge of your foot and trying to stack through your knees. From here, you can come into reverse prayer behind your back. If that's too much for your wrists, we'll take our left elbow up towards the sky, taking our right hand and trying to hug elbow and stretching through your tricep. You can stay here or if you can reach taking that right hand back behind you and maybe reaching for those left fingertips. You can stay here or maybe starting to fold. Just remembering to listen to your body. You decided to fold making your way back through center, 
you are still holding on to your elbow or if your hands are touching, slowly releasing. And then here to switch sides, we're gonna plant our hands over towards our right. We're gonna bring our legs up so we're facing backwards and then we'll spin all the way around and then our left knee will be on the bottom. Or you can just switch so your left leg's on the bottom. From here, maybe he's trying to stack through those knees again. Once again, you can stay here, coming into a reverse prayer. Maybe right elbow comes up towards the sky, maybe holding on to it with that left hand. Feeling a stretch through your tricep. You can stay here, or maybe reaching for that hand. You can stay here, maybe starting to fold. You decided to fold, rising back up, releasing your hands or your elbow. And then from here, we'll unwind our legs. So bringing the soles of your feet down towards the earth, knees towards the sky, hugging your chest in towards your thighs, arms go out, trying to stay open through your collarbone, palms towards the sky, and maybe lifting those heels will make our way into Navasana, either pointing or flexing through your toes. You can stay here and bow, or we'll make our way into canoe. This can be a big or a small movement. Do you inhale, lengthen, exhaling, bow, inhaling, lengthen, exhaling, bow, inhale, lengthen, exhale, bow, inhale, lengthen, exhale, bow. We'll lengthen one more time. We'll hold it here and flutter kick for five, four, three, two, one and fully lowering in towards the earth. Deep breath. Hugging your knees in towards your chest and gently moving from side to side. Massaging your low back. From here, we'll keep our knees hugged in, bringing your arms into a goalpost or into a T. And from here, letting your knees fall towards the left as your gaze goes right. Inhaling, knees come back up through center and go right as your gaze goes left. Inhaling, knees come back through center. And then from here, hugging them back in, maybe taking the circles. From here, taking this moment and this opportunity to take any last poses or movements your body feels necessary before Shavasana. Maybe this is a plow, a shoulder stand, a bridge, a happy baby. Maybe it's another twist. But just listening to your body, listening to what it might need. Here we'll come back through center, so hugging those knees back and towards your chest if they left. From here, setting your feet down so they're mats width apart, bringing your arms in to the goalpost, and then letting your knees fall towards the right as so your gaze goes left, inhaling through center, and switching sides, and just continuing to windshield wiper your legs from side to side as fast or as slow as you'd like. And the next time your knees are up through center, pausing there. 
From here, making your way into a comfortable pose for Shavasana, maybe extending your legs long onto your mat, letting your feet fall away from each other, bringing one hand towards your heart and one towards your belly, shutting down your eyes, and just feeling your breath. You inhale, feeling your chest rise, maybe starting to breathe in towards your belly. And exhaling, feeling your hands fall. Inhaling, big, big, big. Exhaling, letting it go. Inhaling, big, big, big. And letting it go. One more time, inhaling, big, big, big. Holding it at the top, breathing in a little bit more and letting your breath go. Letting your breath return to its natural state. Hands can stay where they are, bringing them down by your sides with your palms towards the sky. Relaxing the place behind your eyes. A place behind your ears and your jaw. You settle into this final pose of relaxation. Slowly bring awareness back to your breath. As you inhale, feeling your chest rise. And as you exhale, feeling it fall. Maybe inviting some movement back into your body by wiggling your fingers and toes. Maybe making some wrists or some ankle circles. Maybe stretching your arms up above head, like it's the first stretch of the morning, pointing through your toes. 
And as you exhale, bending in your knees, rolling over whatever side you choose, using your underarm as a pillow, and planting your top hand down on the earth. And just taking a few moments here, taking a moment to thank yourself for taking this time out of your day to do something good for your breath and for your body. Taking a moment here to revisit your intention one final time, the one you dedicated your practice to. And taking a moment here to think one kind thought about yourself. And whenever you're ready, using the strength of your arms to help push yourself back towards a comfortable seated position, keeping your eyes closed, sitting nice and tall through your spine, and the hands come down towards your knees. We'll do one final breathing exercise together. Once again, if this count is too long or too short, feeling free to count your own breath. So we'll inhale through a count of five and we'll exhale through a count of six. So start by fully exhaling your breath, inhaling for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Deep breath in, open mouth, exhale. And your next inhale, arms come out to the sides, fingertips come to touch up above head. Exhaling, thumbs to your forehead. Remember to have kind thoughts. Thumbs come to your mouth to remember to have kind words. And thumbs come to your heart to remember to have kind intentions. And thank you for sharing your practice with me and allowing for me to share my practice with you. The light in me shines to the light in you. Namaste. Awesome. Thank you guys 